and welcome back to the Sun Files with me, your girl No Fuses. Uh, we just defeated the final boss in the Minecraft game, and we're about to go and talk to Iris and see uh, what's gonna happen next. And without further ado, let's get to it. And if you guys like this video or this game and would like to see more, then please don't hesitate to destroy that like and subscribe button. Oh my god, it's gonna take all my time, all right. Please. Please trust me. Iba, touch the core. Uh-uh, I don't like that smile. No, I don't like that smile she just did. I still don't like that smile she gave me. You believed Iris. I guess the other option was not to believe her and not touch it, maybe? Day four, Monday. The thing from earlier touched my heart in a way that will always linger. All doubt was removed from my mind. I was determined. Iris, I'm sorry that I doubted you. Huh? I believe you. Wajit Nyes X00639. Are you serious? And like I said, I'll fulfill your wish. From this moment on, you're under my protection. Then? Yeah. I'm your bodyguard. I'll protect you with my life, Iris. Date! Thank you! Thank you so much! Date, are you delusional? Iva, I need you to simmer down, because I think you're just a little jelly. You're going to help too, right, Iva? My mission is to support you. You can tell by the way she's saying that she's just like, <laughs> you're lucky that's my directive or I would be walking out the damn door right now. You can just tell by the, her tone. Good. And thank you. Oh, we're going straight to the next day. Tuesday. Oh, we're going back here? Oh, okay. What? You stayed at a hotel with Tessa? <laughs> <sighs> he brought out the shotgun. He was just like, oh, how dare you? It was a business hotel. It was a two-bedroom. <gasps> He's like, oh. Don't say misleading things. We got two rooms, each with two beds. We did bathe together, though. Oh my god, please stop. No, we didn't. What? Isn't your gang supposed to be clean? Why are you here, anyway? I told Mo about the attack by Noxlaw, whatever see, the hell. I heard about the shooting in Golden Yoko Show last night, but I never thought it'd be you. Unfortunately.
Unfortunately, I don't have anything new for you. But, uh, I did find out a little nugget of info you might want to hear. What is it? I'll tell you, but... Date, come over here. Oh my god, he's about to ask for Iris or something. Again with this? With his arm over my shoulder, Moma led me to the corner of the room. I'll tell you, Date, but you gotta do something for me. You wanna shake her hand again? No, 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 I, I did that already. I want to see her peonies. Oh my god. No. Oh, you're that kind of fan, huh? Even I was like, I have nothing to say to that. Sorry? I, I, I want to see Tessa's panties. I really, really, really want to see. You gotta let me get a peek. She's not gonna let you. Well, can you at least ask? Unbelievable. He's just like, oh my god. Mo and I went back to where we were. Please don't make me ask. That's a slap incoming. Iris, could you do me a favor? Hmm? This guy wants to see your panties. Yeah, I, I, I expected that to happen. Like, you never just come out and ask her all that. That's messed up, Date. I know Momo would never say that. Right, Momo? Yeah, 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 of course. Date, you evil pervert. Seriously? Oh Thanks, seriously. You just want a handshake, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I tried to tell him. Uh-huh. I just took Momo's hand and shook it. Date, this... This is the happiest day of my life. I thought that was yesterday. When you told me you were coming, I made them leave. I can't let them see me with Tessa. What do you gotta say about all this? Well, that's random. I just thought she might be worrying. It's fine, she knows already. I told her I'm with you. I'm sure she's not worried. School? Today's Tuesday. It's not another holiday, is it? What are you, dense? Tessa was almost kidnapped. She can't be going to school now. I guess that's true, but... Yeah, she doesn't seem really concerned about school at all, so it's kind of like, huh. Like, the more the game hints me, the more I'm just, like, suspecting Iris so hard right now. Like, even though Dante believes her, I'm still doubtful. I'm, like, in between where I, I was, like, I don't trust this, and Dante's, like, I totally trust this. I'm, like, in between. Like, I trust it, and I don't trust it. It's just, like, I'm waiting for the game to, like, prove me wrong or right. Because I'm not letting that theory go. Might be wrong, might be right. Anybody who's already played this game is probably like, oh, you're wrong, no fears, you're wrong, or I'm right. And they're like, dang, she already has it. But again, we'll see. We will see. Maybe Mr. Okiro was a part of Nice. Maybe. What? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking out loud. What makes you think that? When we were at Sunfish Pocket, my friend said, Said was with a long pause. Okay, there we go. God dang. And then later, I almost got kidnapped by nice. Good theory, but um I think no dice because Falco is is your stepdad. And he's with Renju, and I think Falco just kind of requested he wants to see his daughter again. So, I think that's what that is. I don't think he has anything to do with that. Was that just a coincidence? And not just that. When you found my corpse in the parallel world, you found it in an Okiara warehouse. Whoever killed... 
people be in that world was probably affiliated with- That makes me think the Okioras and Nais are connected. Maybe Nais ordered Mr. Okiora to help number 89 escape. And number 89 is an assassin. If he wanted to get rid of me, Mr. Okiora must have... You're assuming That's a lot true. right now. It could be related to Shoko's murder. Shoko must have found out about the organization. They killed her for getting too close, then displayed the body as a warning. But how did she get too close? Once we solve the mystery of Knox Law, everything will fall into place, or so he I thought. Know more about knives. Why not ask Ota? He did say you know love about secret societies. Remember what he said yesterday? What's with this long pause? I know pause? about conspiracies and secret societies too. I find that stuff. I'm sorry, I accidentally skipped. Might have more information for us. Anyway, what's this intel you got? Check it out. Friday night near Bloom Park, someone saw Renju. Friday night? That's when Shoko was killed. Obviously, that's not enough to pin the crime on him. But it does prove he was there. I guess we should check the merry go round again. The police have already thoroughly searched it. I know, we have searched that place like three times already. And we've been there more than once before on our investigation. But we might have missed something, right? Yeah, last time we did miss something. Sorry, never heard of them. Are they even real? Yes! Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, of course. <laughs> I've always known, deep down, there must be some kind of secret organization. Always known it. <laughs> Their faces. I got some info about the shootout. Those guys aren't affiliated with any criminal organization we're aware of. They're not Mafia, or Yakuza, or anything. They must have been hired guns. Uh, by... Niza... Mattis. It's nice at laws! There are three places we can go. Which are... Okay, there we go. First Bloom Park. I'm curious about Renju being seen there Friday. Second, Matsushita Diner. I want to ask Ota about Knox. And then, change my state. Why we gotta go there again? Jun was probably the one responsible for Iris's murder in the parallel world. Which, in which case, he might be part of Knox. I need to confront him. Let's go, Iris. Oh yeah. You're taking Tessa with you? Yep. She'll be safer here. I can't do that. Please stop. Or what? Uh, sorry. I meant bodyguard. A Freudian slip, no doubt. Well, whatever. But if you're gonna leave, 
You should take this with you. Who we'll owned his desk and took out a small object? What's this? A GPS transmitter. Loma, Iris's phone already has GPS. I know. But in case she gets caught and they throw away her phone or something, it's just an extra precaution. Put it somewhere they won't find it. Thank you. Iris took the GPS transmitter and hid it in her clothes. I hope it'll be useful. Date, if anything happens to her, I'll make sure you regret it for the rest of your life. It'll be fine, relax. <laughs> it's like, all right, let's go. Um, I think I want to go here first. Um, this is the most interesting to me. There's no one in the garden. So must be inside. Wait, I have detected a living organism in the garden. You should look around. Okay. Garden stone? Where's Lysine coming from? Um. So it's none of the stones. Tree? The tree. Alright, it's none of the tree. Oh, mansion? The Sinjima no one is inside. residence. Bush. A giant green blob. If four connect, they disappear. Oh, never mind. That's a plant. It's a plant. <laughs> yes, we know it's a plant. Not a blob. It's a garden lantern. I said garden lantern, not hardened lanyard. I'm aware of that. There's a garden lantern. No one here. Island? Small An island. island is Kojima in Japanese. The director Kojima? He's here? It's not what we said. It honestly wouldn't be that weird for him. But he's not there. There's a small island in the pond, but it's not Kojima. Oh, I see. Oh my god, if I had just, you know, browsed, I probably would have seen them. Who are you with? <gasps> is that Hitomi? I recognize her sweater. Can can I click on them? Uh oh. The run like over our stereo. Uh. Hitomi doing with so? Date? What's wrong? Mom, you have some explaining to do. Iris hasn't noticed them yet. I decided to ask her you about said them. You don't know So Sejima, right? Right, I don't. What about your mom? Does she know So? I don't know. I don't think she does. Do you ever talk politics at home? Anything like that? Not particularly. Why are you asking me this? It was at that moment. Two bar girls dressed in black came running out the mansion. They had pant look on their faces. We told you you can't come in here. You can't do what you want just because you're a cop. You're trespassing. That's a crime, you know. Get lost. No use pushing it. If they called HQ, we would get arrested for sure. But what would happen to Iris? Who would protect her? Knox is a huge organization, they have people everywhere. I can't risk being caught, then I wouldn't be able to save Iris. Fine. Let's go, Iris. Yeah. Alright, Bloom Park. I would have made her like, yeah, Mom! Why are you at a politics freaking mansion? 
I would have made a huge ass fucking scene. I took Iris to Bloom Park. I took my time checking every inch of the merry-go-round. There's nothing here. Guess not. Why did Renju come here Friday night? Was it, a, was it to play Shoko's body here? Or did he have another reason? Renju is my friend. I want to believe him, but I don't know how long I can keep defending him. Yeah, like he keeps running from us all the damn time. Like it's, it's looking really bad for him until we, we like confront him finally and like have a chat. Like, yo, you need to like, he's like, Dante's like, you need to tell me what's either going on or you're about to get arrested. Like, like, where are you? Where is he? What is he doing? I've thought it over a thousand times. My head is heavy with it. Iris suddenly snapped me out of it. Wanna race, Dante? Race? Yeah, we talked about it yesterday. You wanna challenge me? Well, sure. Yeah, let's do it! We'll start here and end here. So, we race around the merry-go-round? Right. Line up next to me! Before I even had a chance to reply, Iris got set. I guess I have no choice. I lined up next to Iris. Okay, here we go. Ready? Set? Go! I couldn't believe my eyes. I thought I must have been dreaming. A second after the race had started, I was already two paces behind her. I couldn't close the gap. I watched her back get smaller and smaller. Dang, so she's quick. She's a sprinter! earned your namesake. <laughs> Do you know a lot about mythology? Huh? You said that Iris is a goddess in Greek mythology, and three days ago you were talking about Egyptian mythology. Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. The right eye is the eye of Ra, and that's the sun. The left eye is the eye of Wajet, and that one is the moon. That's what Iris told me three days ago. Horus's left eye is the eye of Wajet. Does it have any relations with the Wajet system? Oh, mythology? I actually don't know that much. Uncle taught me everything. <laughs> Falco. Six years ago, I used to come here with someone all the time. I used to call him Uncle. Oh yeah, didn't he come up with Aset too? Yeah, that's right. That name is rooted in Egyptian mythology too. I told you yesterday, I love moving around. And I especially love dancing. But... Hmm? About three months ago, Mr. Ogira told me something. He said that I can't dance. Why? I don't know. He said something about being over-reliant on dancing and neglecting my singing. Uh, he's like, basically, don't rely on, like, one, one part of the interest... Uh, industry. He's like, do make sure you know several different skills. That's, I think that's all he's saying. You should stop dancing for now and practice singing. But during your live stream, she was dancing. Because I was sad. After I stopped dancing, I lost so many fans. They said terrible things to me, like that I'm worthless if I can't dance. Ota. All I have is dancing. Just dancing. Horace's mom is named Isis. But in ancient Egyptian, it's pronounced closer to Ise or Ase. Hmm. How do I explain this? Horace's father's name is Osiris. And his mom's name is Isis. So Osiris is Isis's husband. 
Osiris was assassinated by his brother Set. After Set killed Osiris, he tore his body to pieces and threw it into the river. Isis was devastated. I can't believe I'm a widow at my age. Oh dang, so that's what she's worried about. But she didn't let it break her, because she had the power of life and death. All right, fine. If that's how it's gonna be, I'll just revive my husband. With a group of her friends, she gathered up Osiris's body and started the resurrection live! Shh, -kr. And so, Osiris was revived! Well, technically he wasn't all there, so he wasn't in one piece. But anyway... Let me guess, he's missing an eye. Isis was the goddess of life, death, and fertility. She was worshipped by all the land. Man, how much is there? The picture. But what does that have to do with your own name? There's a theory that the Greek goddess Iris is really based on the Egyptian goddess Isis. So Isis and Iris are connected. Yeah. And Isis sounded like Aset in ancient Egyptian, which is where your stage name comes from. That's right. But remember, I didn't come up with the name. Her uncle. Horus's arch enemy was Set, his uncle. His uncle? I told you earlier. Horus's father was Osiris, who was assassinated by his younger brother Set. Right, I see. Not only was he killed, he was shredded to pieces. So obviously, Horus was pissed. Drat! I'll never forgive you, Uncle Set. On the other hand, Set didn't like having Horus around. Ugh, he's so annoying. Osiris said that I was supposed to be king. But now everyone's like, oh, Horus should be king. Are these idiots serious? Horus would be an awful king. Time to go to war. And so a bloody war broke out, just like that. And the winner was decided by a deadly game. What kind of game? They would disguise themselves as hippos, ford the river, and whoever gets to the other side first would win. That's what they decided. How oddly specific. I know, right? So, for 80 years they fought. It was bloody and horrible. In the end, Horus won. Horus used a spear to cut off Set's foot and Wee Wee. Oh, dang. Wee Wee? <laughs> we, we. I believe she is referring to a male. Wait, why are you asking me? Exactly, he should be able to put two and two together what we we is. But Horus didn't come out of this unscathed. During the battle, Horus lost his left eyeball to Set. It said that the left eye survived and traveled all over Egypt, gaining wisdom and experience. Horus had no idea that his left eye was wandering around on its own. What? Where did my eye go? Horus was totally bummed out. He went to see the god of wisdom, the moon, and time, Thoth. Damn, Set did that? That's brutal, dude. All right, I'll use my moon power to heal you up. Yay, thank you, Mr. Thoth. Okay, here it goes. Moon healing power. Ring, ring, ring. Thoth cast his spell and Horus's eye came zooming in! Zoom! Click! Horus got his eye back! And from that day forward, his left eye had the power of the moon in it! It became the symbol of knowledge and healing, and revered as a sacred icon! So that's the Eye of Wadjet? Right! And it became the Eye of Providence? Yes! And do you think that's why we call it the Wadjet system? Probably, yeah. In the end, we didn't find any new information about Renju. But I'm not too upset. This is what a criminal inves investigation is about. We don't always find what we're looking for. Let's get going, Iris. Yeah, let's go. Too good? Okay. Alright, let's go see Ota. Let's see if he has any intel about this place. I wonder why she never bothered to ask him about that organization. Just kind of like, hey, do you know anything about it? Since you know all these secret organizations. Oh, 
Ocho and Mizuki were both in the Rosette diner. Laws. I see. It's not impossible. Ota spoke softly to himself, looking deep in thought. Why is Mizuki here? Well, Ota... Um... Date, can I... What are you about to ask me? Ota gestured and walked over to the corner of the room. I quietly stood up and followed. Look, I was gonna let you have it, but under the circumstances... What are you talking about? Mizuki, of course. You've been neglecting her. Don't you think she's at her limit? Mizuki stayed at one of the mermaid's houses last night. She was twisting and turning all night. They had to sleep in the same bed so she'd calm down. She called me this morning so I could pick her up. Normally, she'd be in school, but Mizuki had the day off for morning. I thought that she shouldn't be alone. Why don't you try being nicer to Mizuki? Bitch, we have so much on her plate right now. Like, the fact that, you know, Mizuki is talking again right now kind of puts her to the bomb the list. I hate saying that, but come on. When it comes to priorities right now, like, we need to find a serial killer. Find a secret organization. Find out what they're trying to find Iris. Find out who killed Chioko. Find out where Renju is. Find out where 89 went. We have so much on our plate right now. So how about you go and lend a fucking hand? I know she doesn't show it, but she's really hurting. She needs you, Date. She just doesn't want to trouble you. She's a remarkable, brave young girl. You should try to understand how she feels. Alright, next. <laughs> Mizuki is like a cute little sister. And, and my favorite friend. I like her a lot. How much? About three universes worth. But just three universes? What about 271? Billion eight hundred twenty-eight million one hundred eighty-two thousand eight hundred forty-five universes. That's a very specific number. Well, I like you double that. Hey, no fair. Oh, just like my big brother. He's a hero who will help me out of any jam. He's really important to me. I like him a lot. How much? Three Earths worth. What is this indescribable feeling of loss? <laughs> I mean, three Earths is pretty big, but. Nice, nice. Why is everyone looking at me so seriously? God dang. Iris, you look cold. You okay? Yeah, fine. Are you about to collapse or have a energy loss on me again? Like, or pass out? I just get cold easily. Uh huh. The room is 74 degrees Fahrenheit at 62% humidity. Not conditions often considered cold. This is the second time she's had like a temperature issue. The first time this happened, she said she was a little too warm. This time she's saying she's a little too cold. And I was like, bullshit on both times. Like, there's no way. Who is Iris to me? A friend? A big sister? And I kinda envy her. No, stop it! It's true, though. I look up to you a lot, Iris. <laughs> If you're asking me, he's involved in all this, isn't he? Uh, kinda, yeah. Is he the culprit? Did he really kill mom? Well, I guess it's understandable that he'd be a suspect. After mom got killed, he didn't even call. 
and he called me out to Bloom Park for some reason. I thought it was suspicious, but... But I pretended not to notice. I didn't want to acknowledge it. I wanted to believe in Daddy. Yeah, it's not looking great for Renji right now. Alright, give me the goods. Give me the info. She's out right now. I'm not sure where. Shopping, maybe. Tessa is... My hopes and dreams. My peace and my life. Oh my god. My light, my star, my sun, my goddess. She's like the laws of the universe itself. The embodiment of beauty. An angel, a lover, a cute mascot to put on a body pillow. Oh my god. <laughs> a guru, a wife, a soulmate, life itself. She's the object of my total devotion and worship. Look at Iris in the corner. She's like, I am kind of uncomfortable and flattered at the same time. Snuck lover and wife in there. I would ignore it. And like I told you before, I'm Tessa's thrall. If she calls for me, I'll be there. Thanks, Ota. That makes me happy. I've heard of them. Nyes at Loss, or Nyes, is a satanic secret society. Like a cult, they sacrifice children. While the sacrifice is up all night screaming, the cult performs ritual acts. Their ranks are full of politicians, intellectuals, and business tycoons. They've only been active for a few decades, but some say that they've grown to be the largest secret society in the world. An organization so big that it absorbed the Freemasons and the Illuminati. Ah, oh, bigger than the Illuminati? Dang. But even though their membership is huge, no one knows who their leaders are. Hmm, interesting. Like, you've heard of the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds, right? But for Nice, there's nothing. No one knows who's running the cult. The Wadjet system might be running the cult. So there's technically no leader on Earth. If you want to get technical, that's my that's my theory anyway. My guess is that they're being led by a group of super geniuses. Ota doesn't know about the Wadjet system or its connections to Nice. Iris found out just why they're after her. Pieces fit. If you believe everything she said. Iva is still just like, I don't believe not a damn thing this girl's telling me. All right, Iris, let's get going. You got it. Date, if something happens to Tessa, let me know, okay? I'll come help right away. Me too. I'll save you no matter what, Iris. Thank you both. Promise me. I promise. Oh, there's more for Oda? Oh, he just looks serious. Okay. Oh, we're going to Marvel next. Alrighty. Attacked by Nice? It'll be fine. I didn't tell anyone we were going there. They won't be waiting for us. Besides, they wouldn't ambush us in the same place twice. But why Marble? No reason. I just need to talk to Mama. Hmm? I was like, who? Sorry I couldn't come last night. No, no. Don't worry about it. It was better that you didn't. Huh? 
You didn't hear? There was a shootout right in front of the bar. They closed all of Golden Yokocho down. They were saying something about hitmen suddenly pulling out guns and shooting. They were trying to kill a man and a woman. Wait a minute. Yeah, it was us. Yeah. I told mom about last night and about... I will never be able to pronounce his name, no matter how many times I see it in text, too. Iris, let me introduce you to mama's little sister. Ah, will you stop? That's a fridge! Mm. Sorry for the late introduction. This is Iris. Nice to meet you. I'm Aset, you bet. Oh, sorry, have it. I meant Iris. Oh my, you are so cute. Are you a virgin? You are right. Oh my god, go straight in for the kill. Yeah? What a coincidence. Me too. You're a fucking eyeball. Of course you would be. Oh, you don't say. I think they must be foreign mafia. Some kind of international organization. They would do anything for money. Nice must have hired them. Sorry, honey, but I don't know a thing about that. You're an informant. I'm sure you must know something. I'm well versed in local information. I know all about Tokyo's underworld, but I can't say much about the rest of the world. Hmm, huh, got a point. Mama, I want to ask you something. What is it? Those gunmen were waiting for us. Did you tell anyone we were coming? That's right. You did tell Mama that you were coming. And that you were bringing Iris. Hmm. Well... I did tell one person. Who? The person I was going to have you meet, of course. Same guy who gave Ren his watch. What's his name? Futa, I think. Futa Amanoma. Why did the music quiet down all of a sudden? <gasps> Whoa, what's happening? <laughs> what, do we know this person? Dante, fill me in! <gasps> Even I was freaking out! Uh, is this a person I met? I completely forgot him. Fill me in, please! What? Wait, what? Oh hell no! Nah. Mother, mother fucking pewter. So I guess that's his other name. Huh? 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 Okay. <laughs> A lot of y'all back at work is about to get their ass whooped. I swear to God. First we had the boss. That might have been snitching. Now we got Pewter. Might be snitching. Oh my god, we can't trust nobody. That's Pewter. Can't trust nobody. God dang. Mama's still po polishing the dried uh, bonito fish. She's a delight. No, oh, aren't you nice? Are you looking for a job? Iris is still in high school. How about after you graduate? Starting rate is six million yen an hour. Shit, where do I sign? Date, I need a body so I can work here immediately. Exactly. You won't get hired looking like that. No, I'm okay. Mama, what are you doing? Hmm, just polishing the bonito. Three nights in a row. It is not well known, but dried bonito is a fermented food. They are boiled and dried, which attracts a particular mold as it ages. It takes between three to four mold attraction sessions and results in high quality bonito. Mama is cleaning off the mold right now.
I'm about to go to Abyss and kick some ass. So much ass needs to be kicked right now. Somebody's lying, somebody's snitching, and we about to find out who the fuck it is. There's no one here. Oh, that's creepy. Is the machine still there? Maybe he went home. No, that can't be. Pewter is definitely around here somewhere. Date, your intuition is correct. He must have left just recently. I am detecting a living organism nearby. I knew it. Where are you, Pewter? Come out and get these hands. You know where Renju is, and I want you to tell me. Haha, -ha, I found you real quick. There's that bastard. Wait a minute! Uh, okay, I'll tell you everything. <laughs> I'm glad you know what we're here for. You told those men that Iris and I were going to Golden Yokocho, didn't you? Yes, I did. Renju hired them. Renju did? Why, Renju, are you doing this? Which means Mr. Okiura is in with Nice. Nice? He's like, I don't know nothing about that. Don't play dumb. I know you're with them. I don't know what you're talking about. I was just helping Renju. Did you help number 89 get away? How much does she know? Just answer the question. Yes, I did. Ah, so he was in on it. It's been bothering me. How was number 89 able to escape from Metro so easily? And you were the one being held hostage. If you were helping him the whole time, it all makes sense. I don't know. It's he, true. He's it's like, oh, you better give me a different answer. Rinju said that he needed him. That's all I know. Two days ago, Renju escaped from the hospital. Renju asked me on the phone to report everything about Shoko's murder case. That's what he wanted. Yesterday, the boss told me that number 89 was coming. Then, Renju asked, Is there any way we can let number 89... I was conflicted. I thought hard about it, but it was Renju asking. Someone I love. And he sounded like he was on death's doorstep. He was begging for help. I couldn't say no. With my intelligence, I was quickly able to come up with a plan. You know what the results were. The escape happened exactly how I described earlier. Though, I wasn't being threatened with a gun. You were acting, huh? Just pretending to be his hostage. Yes. Did number 89 know about the plan? Of course. We discussed it when we were alone in the interrogation room. Naturally, he agreed. I imagine he would have taken any possibility of escape. Even if we failed, he was already serving a life sentence. Uh, so he was never gonna get out of jail. I mean, when you're a, when you're a top great assassin, then yeah, the the the. Uh, they're not gonna let you go. Why was boss not present at 89's interrogation? Oh wait, I thought she was behind the glass, so she wasn't there watching? I may not look it, but I have connections high up at HQ. Friends from my college days. I asked one of them to call up the boss. Ah. Is it true that you were the one who gave Renju his watch? Oh, his face looks real panicky right now. Yes, that's true. 
There was no need to ask anything else. Why did Peter help rent you? His last answer was all I needed to hear. Where is Renju? So where is Renju? Even if I knew, why would I tell you? Because you don't want more holes in your body than you already have. He's got holes in his body? God damn. You can't. Oh, that little smirk. I would just shoot you in the kneecap just because of that one little look you just gave why me. Why not? Date, I didn't tell you all this because you were threatening me. I genuinely wanted you to know. To understand. The why were you hiding in the locker? The truth, Date. What are you talking about? There's a variable you haven't considered. I made Iva. And? You don't get it? Date, his hands! <gasps> oh shit, are you about to make us explode? <laughs> Ow! Ow. Ow. Date! Aw, oh, damn. I thought he was about to, like, make it explode inside of her head. I was like, oh, snap. Throw the eyeball. Throw it away. Damn it, Pewter. Date, calm down or it will compromise your ability to drive. If you crash, okay. you will not be able to save Iris. I love this epic rushing music right now. Just kind of like we're we're a limited time. Any moment now, it could all be over. Where is she? I don't know. What about that GPS the Kamakuras gave us? So then, where the hell am I going? How would I know that? You acted on your own. What about her phone's GPS? I tried. It's been turned off. Then... The GPS. The extra. The hidden one. It's just yes, an thank you. extra precaution. Ding, 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 ding. Put it somewhere they won't find it. I've a calm moment now. On it. Hey, Dante. What's up? I explained the situation as fast as I could. Dessa. Dessa got kidnapped? Dante, you bastard! I know, I know. Yell at me later. Right now, I need you to tell me where she is. God damn it! After a short pause, Moma yelled out. Oh god dang, the history is about to repeat itself. I saw Iris's dead body. Hey, are you listening, Apple? I've got it, thanks. I'm on my way there too. Mom was like, I I'm about to bring the pain. Oh, there goes the van of death. Wow. There are a lot of you here. Those are the guys who attacked us at Golden Yoga Show. The mercenaries. How many? I detect more than we can see. They are positioned all over the area, surrounding the warehouse. 
There are portable barricades set up in two areas in front of the warehouse. Portable? They can be moved and erected easily. Portable barricades in two spots around the warehouse. Each of them carries an assault rifle. Getting through will not be an easy task. <sighs> Looks that way. There are a ton of enemies in a high alert all around the storage. More or is it like just the just click on them? Maybe it's dark, can barely see a thing. But there's nothing else around that's glowing green. Okay, there it goes. Oh, X-ray! Is she in there? Oh, yes she is. That's... It's Iris. Damn it. Is she okay? Unknown. But at least we know she's alive. The issue now is reaching her. Alright, let's do this! She is ready to go. Hold on, are you dense? They're gonna blow your brains out. They got guns? Yeah, not just one or two. They all have assault rifles, and they're everywhere. You can tell? Even in the dark? Have you forgotten that I found out what was inside your safe? Yeah, he's like, come on now. <laughs> I have superpowers. I can see in the dark, and I have x-ray vision. Oh, shit, you were serious? I know I didn't tell him about the rest. The Iris was in the van at the end of the harbor, and that there are two portable barricades on the way there. After I laid it out, I stared into his eyes. We need a plan. Can you help me? Yeah, sure I can. But I need to ask you a few things first. Like? To be a military grade all -terrain vehicle. Why don't we just drive through those motherfuckers with that? Loma, that vehicle, that's one of ours. I got it from the army. It's bulletproof, even the windows. I thought you were trying to run a non-violent gang. Well, that's exactly why. <laughs> we got rid of our offense, so we needed a little defense. I suppose that makes sense, in a way. Yeah, it does. The jackoff who took Tessa. Pewter, right? What's his deal? I think Renju asked him to do all of this. Renju? I told Mom about Renju and Peter's relationship. Oh, that's right. Renju was looking for Tessa. Not only that, in a parallel world, I found Iris's body at an Okiura fishery warehouse. I've got a bad feeling about this. So these bad guys, why did they take Tessa? The van's at the end of the row. Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse is right there. We must be planning on taking her inside. Right now, they're probably getting it ready. They've got lookouts waiting outside. Tessa's in the van down there, right? Yeah. In that case, why don't we go around the back? Unfortunately, that is impossible. Why? The houses are flush with the water. The only path to the van is down the front. Ah, I see. I relayed that information to MoMA. Shit. Guess it won't be that easy. So, what's the plan? 
Uh, well. What was coming with a plan? A car emerged from the darkness. Uh oh. Okay. I have a guess on who it is. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. Yeah, I'm wrong. Mizuki, Ota, what are you doing here? What do you mean? You contacted us. Uh, no, we did not. What? I sent a denial message to both of them. Why? Why? Date, if something happens to Tessa, let me know, okay? I'll save you no matter what, Iris. Promise me. I promise. Ah. A promise is an inviolable protocol. It must be followed. Do you know what a white lie is? <sighs> Apparently she does not. And it's like, what are they gonna do about it? No, I am an AI. You always pull out that excuse when it's convenient. Besides, Mizuki can be very helpful. And Ota? Perhaps he can be used as a shield. Damn! I was like, you, you, you just be our meat shield. You just, you just take the punches for us. Like, that's all you can do. That's cruel, even for me. Uh, Date? Who are the kids? Don't call me a kid. Who's the old man? I sighed and shook my head. I made the introductions quickly. So your sixth grade roommate and a knee who's trying to get his light novel published? What good are they? You don't look very useful yourself, old man. Yeah, you're all short and scrawny. Says the shorter guy. Shut up, I'm not short. The earth is just big. Uh -huh. The argument is fallacious. And you're short too. No exactly. way. Exactly. This isn't even my final form. This is not Dragon Ball Z. All my joints are folded up. I can get three times bigger than this. Liar! This went on for a bit. And then you just turn around and Iris is already dead. All the body got all the guards like looking at you, just staring, just watching. Like maybe. I finally got fed up and shouted at them. Listen up, you idiots. You're here because you're all ASET fans. Water. Wet. Sweat. ASAP. Fears. Upset. Regret. ASAP. Gambling. Roulette. Bed. ASAP. Yes, yeah! yes, yes. Oh my god. All right. Let's work together and get our Tessa back. And we will do that in the next video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. And so if I, I'm over here just kind of like, oh my god. With, with all that's been going on, I've, is she already dead? A, a part of me also feels like we're gonna go into this uh, warehouse and it's just gonna be like a touching reunion. Like, we're just gonna be like, we did all that? And you're not even in danger? I, I feel like either one of those is gonna like happen, you know? That that's 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 my take on it. And I, I still love how Iva just still does not trust Iris for the life life of her. She does not trust her. Even though all this is still going on, she's just like, mm-hmm, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. And while Dante is like completely like, yeah, I'll believe you, let's do it. And I'm, I'm in the middle because I want to believe her, but another part of me doesn't want to believe her. It's just like, I'm suspicious. But I... Hopefully the truth will come to light and we'll find out where Renju is. We'll find out what's going on with Iris and this secret organization in the next video. And if you guys like this video and this game and you want to see more videos, then please do not hesitate to destroy that like and subscribe button. See you guys later. Bye.